Hey people, intro here, 3v3, SDL province blue team. Uncensored Angel as a brother captain, a durable hero walking through objects, very good offense, and support fighting in melee alongside some Eldar players, Soul Reaver taking some damage early as a Warp Spider Exarch, a teleporting hero fighting in ranged combat by default, prepare for capping and harassing some powerful control. He himself being harassed here. And rounded off the team, Kaz Kaiser as a Farseer support hero fighting in melee with some powerful buffs and control and an Exodite's elite scheme. Red team, it's Klaus Schwab also known as a virtually generous rocking and apothecary support hero fighting in melee combat by default, begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura alongside Triumph and a Force Commander. Very strong offense fighting in melee can tank, disrupt and support a versatile marine and it's the Ultramarines DLC. Let's just see this first engagement out in the mid, shall we? Force Commander gets a good battle cry going. Howling Banshees with that power melee damage are a threat to low level heroes, even a melee specialist like a Force Commander. Couldn't quite finish him off though. Force Commander gets away, maybe. Warp Spider tries to get him, but can't do it. That little bit of health regen from the Apothecary might have saved that Force Commander there, because he was incredibly low. Rounded off the teams, also in retreat is Terry, rocking an Inquisitor, an offensive hero with powerful control abilities, begins in melee, but can get specialized ranged weapons, and ZW Terry there with the Talon Desert Raiders elite scheme, and double Sentinels, and Kaz Kaiser responds with Rangers, maybe double Rangers, although it could be Rangers into a Shuriken. On the west side, overtly of course, looking for the early power harass, with the Flamer up on those tacks there. And the Brother Captain, oh, gets the Psychic Lash. And that could be very effective against overtly Gemerus' play. So it helps you keep the Apothecary and the, there it is, and the Tactical Marines separated. This guy's getting, yeah, messed up, goes down. That does 17, is it 17.5 DPS and a 70% slow. Overtly relies on his tacks being close to the Apothecary most of the time, so he can mess with that. There's that Force Commander then. Blue team pushing through, Howling Banshee's in there, and there's We Are the Hammer. Force Commander look, looking for Battle Cry, there it is. But the carry's gonna dig in, and Flame are doing some work too. Meanwhile, the Strike Squad and the Brother Captain looking for the tax. Howling Banshees are dealt with. Warp Spider, I think we may be seeing the um, Heavy Gauge filament maybe a bit soon. Brother Captain goes for a cheeky decap, meanwhile. Assault Squad on the field for Triumph. Sentinel taking some damage from the Rangers, probably with Guide on them and stuff. And we are seeing double Rangers for Kaz Kaiser. That's a big threat to the Sentinels now. They've only got a single Guardsman to repair them. This one's still low. Guide up on the Guardians at the moment. Smoke Shell. You can't repair that Sentinel there, buddy. Down it goes. That was fast. Meanwhile, back towards the west side, Shuriken gets jumped by the Assault Squad. A one-to-one -one cap and Shotgun Scouts in play for overtly being flamed up by Purgation. It's going to be double Purgation using that Incinerator. They can also use the Purge Soul. Or is it Soul Purge? One of them. To slow down and do percentage-based damage to an enemy hero, usually. It's very nice to slow down these melee heroes, although overtly will probably be getting the customized Storm Bolter. Does get purification rights first. 475 to 461. Onto the power is Terry. Got some more guardsmen up. And this Sentinel still stands. I was trying to go for a deep, cheeky decap on the VP, but gets turned away by Howling Banshees. We're not in the mood for any decapping, please. Thank you. Red team are tripling. I think. No, uncensored. Yeah, red team. Yes, red team are tripling the east side. Getting my, my players mixed up there. So uncensored could now bash the open gen on the northwest or come and help and try and get a flank or something. Looks like uncensored is coming over to the east side to try and flank the red team here. Can the blue team do a good approach? They can set it up with rangers maybe. And their kinetic pulses. Sentinel gets repairs. There is a multi-laser turret up there. 
faltering approach a bit. Force Commander's got rid of by Heavy Gauge, I believe. And Hammer of the Witches was on the Brother Captain, but Inquisitor gets herself into a bad spot. She's going to go down. Grenades. Really good approach by the blue team. Assault Squad are going to be dealt with it in a second. Having to jump away. They should have maybe jumped the Rangers there. But yeah, good approach by the blue team. Got the red team off the field. And they took down the Inquisitor. Although, Uncensored Angel has dropped one of the Purgation at some point. Unless, oh there they are. Oh, did they get grenaded by Overtly? I bet they got a grenade in the face by these scouts here. So that's a big win. That's a power costing squad that just got taken out. But the blue team are on the power. Can get at least a couple of gens down here. It looks like they're trying to, go, try, trying to go for the node first. Maybe they want a decap. Surely they don't want to steal it. Meanwhile, overtly stayed forward and bashed the node and decap the node. Not sure how long it's going to be able to stay here though. But the carry is getting very low and rangers say hello with uh, some long rifle shots and down he goes. They kill a tactical marine as well. I don't think he can finish his cap. And could be very difficult to revive. Although Inquisitor's also down. So Laraman's Blessing may be coming up. Meanwhile, Purgation. Couldn't quite get the power bash going. Scout said no with some kicks. You know, Taekwondo going on. There's the Laraman's Blessing. Inquisitor and the Apothecary back to their feet. And Customized Stormbolter is in as you saw there. Decapping the power of oh, the blue team. Well played. They pounced on it quickly and got it done. These rangers are an absolute menace at the moment. Assault squad need to get on them. They are busy capping the mid at the moment. There's all the tier twos for the red team. Blue team with, in general, heavier tier ones. Spending more power and stuff. Very brave of Terry to get a missile launcher for this guy because he's been in... He's been in peril a lot of time, this, this Sentinel. Farseer is going to revive this Warp Spider Exarch. And we have improved target is in play. More range, more damage, and there's that heavy gauge. 4, 6, 7 to 3, 3, 3. Down goes the Inquisitor again. Uncensored Angel's got some operatives up now, apparently. Oh, the Force Commander's down over there. Force Commander's down on the blue team's natural power. There's the Assault Squad doing their thing with an aggressive jump, finally. Getting the Rangers off the field. Need to do that more. Of course, easier said than done when there's Howling Banshees potentially around. Some Guardians wiped. Those are Soul Reavers. And they get the Shuriken. Surely they can. There's the jump. They're going to get it. Yep. So, big losses at the end of that fight for Soul Reaver, but they can recover. Guardians on the way. Falcon on the way for Kaz Kaiser. Strat Squad taking the Western VP, turning it blue. Purgation is still trying to bash, but scouts are being problematic, let's say. There's a grenade. And now they're forcing melee. And I don't know who wins that melee fight. Purgation versus scouts with the sergeant. Level 2 scouts as well. There's Psychic Lash. And somehow these scouts don't drop a model. I guess all of that damage was focused on the sergeant. And was then spread to the other models evenly. Force Command is not interested in, in defending this power, apparently. Who even revived him? Was it overtly? Was it just the London Laramans? Well, he's up. 451 to 309. Apothecary is level 3 already. And combat stims are in, which seems to be what overtly uh, prefers these days. Stone Guard veterans dropped in there. First company marines that can change their ammo. And it's probably going to be a bunch of Hellfire rounds. Yep, Hellfire rounds are in. Acid rounds that do damage over time versus light infantry and heroes. There's that Falcon. In fact, we have two Falcons. And that's a big deal. Crack missiles could help there. Looks like they're loaded in at the moment. Ready. You guys have a missile launcher? No missile launcher yet. Combat Stims really works well with Overtly's build because it helps him bash power faster if it's a flamer or transition to the missile launcher and make that more dangerous. Full power bash here by Uncensored Angel. Well played. Maybe could have got a decap even. Farsi is in the thick of it. Going to fight the Assault Marines. 
and she goes down. I wonder if she has... I don't know if he gets a new model. If she have the gravity blade. Maybe has her eyes on it now. Pushing through the mid are the red team. 4, 5, 1 to 2, 6, eight. They have a bunch of VPs to make up though. Some repairs for the Falcon. Well, one of the Falcons. This one still needs repairs. Are the Stormtroopers going to do it? Banshee's getting messed up by shotgun blastings. Inquisitor's in there. So is the Force Commander. It's a lot of stuff getting buffed by the battle cry as well, isn't it? Sentinel getting quite low. And pushes forward. And it's going to go down, I think. It's still around at the moment. Sentinel's still up. Falcon taking a bunch of damage. Stone Guard using their Vengeance Rounds, which do damage versus vehicles and super heavy infantry. Meanwhile, Force Commander, you okay there, buddy's alright. He's out. He's alright. Inquisitor also got out. Where's the Apothecary? carries hit. Where does he throw his heel, though? In this mess. Robert, there it is, on attacks. And attacks now have a missile launcher. Apothecary takes over the cat. Tax getting a shot on the Falcon. And so did the Sentinel. The Assault Squad jumped the Rangers. Well done. Might see some grenades on their face though. Rangers trying to fleet and move. More shots on the Falcon. Can they get one of them down? They can. Stone Guard Veterans getting it done in the end. These Tax are still here. Reinforcing off that drop pod actually. Has everything been reinforcing off that drop pod then? That's what the Stone Guard came in on. Kinetic Pulse. Grenade. Oh, incendiary grenade, is it? That was a smoke. To mess up the range of these guys. 437 to 229 on the VPs. One Falcon still up. Blue team reinforcing off it. And the red team reinforcing off the drop pod. So you got a big attrition fight there. The blue team pushed through. Tier 3 for Overtly and Tier 3 for Triumph. Tax dropping a model again. Sentinel. I can't believe that Sentinel's still going. Well played, Terry. It's almost level 3. 419 to 229. Red team do have the Eastern Power with a single gen. And a damaged node, but it's still going. Level 3 Force Commander, no war gear. Level 4 Apothecary, what about this Inquisitor? Level 2, no war gear. Is it worth getting the um, Storm Shield here? There's a lot of firepower coming in, eh? Level 2, Brother Captain, now has Mantle of Terror. Level 3, Warp Spider, and a level 4 Farseer rocking his Singing Spear. Ready to fight. Strat Squad. Little bit isolated. Don't see plasma guns coming in yet on those guardsmen. To threaten the strike squad and stuff. Maybe they feel like it's mostly Eldar they're fighting. Stomp. Stomp might get the Sentinel killed and it does. Why did I mention that the Sentinel was alive? Why? Red team get through the mid and decap. Now this power's being threatened. The stern guard have made a big difference here. Especially that drop pod reinforcing stuff as well. Level 2 Assault Marines got their thunder and lightning thing. And power bashing here as overtly. 389 to 229. And a Wraith Lord shows up for Soul Reaver. Now that is a risky, risky play. Because your opponents are getting their tier 3s rolling. You get a very late Wraith Lord in tier 2 that delays your tier 3. And it's potentially just a, like a massive damage magnet that just goes down quickly. In fact, it's already down to half health here. Stern Guard and the Power Fist Force Commander do, doing a bunch of damage. Did they melt a bomb already? Or not? Didn't notice a melter bomb in there. From the Assault Squad. Well, in that instance, the Wraith Lord soaked up a bunch of damage and survived, which is good. But can it do that again? It was a big risk for Soul Reaver to get that. We'll see if it pays off. Tax getting healed. Dodging grenades. Really trying to get this cat. There's so much effort to cap this. We've got to run, fellas. Singing spear. Can you kill one? Not quite. 
Triumph calling out VPs. 377 to 229. What's going on through the mid? Banshees with Falcon support being aggressive here. These guys don't want anything to do with it. They just leave. Still going. Slicing up some tacks. Leveling. Level 2 Howling Banshees. Where's the Wraith Lord at? Moving forward now. Kaz Kaiser, meanwhile, has a Seer Council in Tier 3. And Uncensored with a Plasma... Yep, yeah, Plasma Cannon Dreadnought. And a Vindicare Assassin. Triumph with that Terminator Force Commander. Terry goes Tier 3 now. Overtly will be looking for his first Terminator soon. Needs a bit more red. Tons of requisition. So can replace gens if they're lost here. Over Bright Lance, shoulder mounted for the Wraith Lord now. It may just be worth putting this thing on range stance and keep it back. You can still counter initiate your assault squad jumps. Just keep it back shooting things. Not sure why it went for the Bright Lance, because you don't see any vehicles up. Anticipating the Land Raider, maybe. 2 to 1 cap for the blue team here. And a lot of the map is blue. Can they get the Falcon down? Melter Bomb is on it. Stone Guard are there getting rear armor hits. Force Commander's there getting rear armor power fist hits. And surely they're going to get it. Down goes the Falcon. Was pushed up really far there. And they may also get this Wraith Lord. Incendiary grenade tucked in by the operatives. Force Commander is dealt with. Maybe even taken out here, actually. Yep, goes down. Mother Carry is right there, though. And the Wraith Lord survives. Target acquired on that Inquisitor. What is this? Terminators for Overtly. Yep, Overtly Generous gets Terminators in. See, the Council going straight after them. They have their empowered spears at the moment, too. Giving them heavy melee. Which is actually less effective than power melee against these Terminators, but it does mean they can threaten all targets and it's still pretty damn threatening to these terminators 377 to 180 on the vps purification rights knocks down the seer council far seer chucks guide on them sorts were coming in to help out i mean they held up the line a bit there i don't think they killed anything they didn't kill a terminator that's for sure what level is the apothecary now level four almost level five and his heal does get better every level these days not every two levels Strike squad are level 3. He's got a Justicar in. There's the tier 3 for Soul Reaver. And Illumin Rust coming through for Terry. So was the Wraith Lord worth it? I mean, it's alive. It's soaked up a bunch of damage. It's done some damage. I'd say it was well played in the end. If they all went tier 3 at the same time, it might have left their lines a little bit weak as they teched up. So maybe that Wraith Lord was... An awesome, an awesome play to keep their lines a bit more shored up. That's a fire prism for Kaz Kaiser. Needs some repairs. The Dreadnought still having a grand old time with his plasma cannon, eh? But there's Psychic Lash messing with the Terminators. He also saw the, uh, yeah, he can't even move, I think. Because that was Psychic Lash combined with Energy Burst. 377 to 169 on the VPs. There's a 2 to 1 for red. Land Red Redeemer coming up for Triumph. And the combination of Land Red Redeemer and Terminators is uh, very difficult to deal with, potentially. Warp Spider Exarch goes down because the bunker was booby trapped. That Wraith Lord still doing work. Almost level 2. And there is a Vanquish Illumin Rust, massive threat to the Wraith Lord here. Battle rights going up from the Brother Captain level 3. Illumin Rust getting shots already. And these guys, of course, have a Cyclone Missile Launcher. Wraith Lord is trying to trade with the Illumin Rust. It's not going to work out, bud. Even with your Bright Lance. Very few vehicles can stand and trade with a Illumin Rust. 344 to 169 on the VP. Cyclone Missile Launcher. A few hits on the Dreadnought. In fact, they may finish it off with the Lehman Russ here. That shot seemed to miss or hit a Guardian or something. And they both survive. Both of the walkers get away, I think. I mean, the Lehman Russ is still giving chase. Maybe I shouldn't say that. 
330 to 169. There was some fisty cuffs up in the northeast corner. Kaz Kaiser stayed in play. Soul Reaver down to just two units now. Just the Wraith Lord and Guardians has a Seer Council coming up. Just as the Land Raider hits the field as well. Just staying on natural VP for now. Cyclone. Trying to finish off the Dreadnought and they get it. Wraith Lord turns around to go back into the fight, which is a bad move. There's missile launch attacks right there. And then Demon Russ isn't that far away. 308 to 169. Overtly scouts getting the cap going. Walks by the levels to five. Should yeah, do, should do some really good damage here with improved targeters. All this damage is going on to the sergeant though. Okay, they kill a couple of models. And then he gets onto the VP. Farsia goes down. Trying to decap the Western VP, which stays red for now, and a double cap for the red team. Have they turned the corner here? So Reaver recovers with some more Guardians after the Seer Council. Double Fire Prisms for Kaskai's are still in play. And there's the Tier 3 for Uncensored Angel. Has tons of red, so could get Paladins up. Basically, as soon as they hit Tier 3. And that could be something. Double Seer Council, double Fire Prisms and Paladins. If you can get these heroes back up. This guy now has the Nemesis Demon Hammer in. 234 to 169 on the VPs. Sort Squad capping Eastern Power. Red team stabilizing somewhat in the middle. The Land Red is still in the middle. These guys are retreating back to it, as you can see. You can also reinforce off that thing. Very powerful support vehicle. And we've got Terminators around it. Can be very difficult to approach that. Although two Eldar with potentially two Eldritch Storms. Oh, Soul Reaver's down now. So much for reviving stuff, eh? All three blue team heroes down, which is a big, big loss. Massive loss to have all of your heroes down in the team game. 2-1-6 to 169. That is Purgation with a conversion. We were trying to get shots on the Lehman Rust. Getting some good hits, actually. There's a Melter Bomb as well from the operatives. Can they get it? They can. Lehman Russ is gotten. Wraith Lord also helping out with a Bright Lance there. Blue team back on the 2 to 1. Not letting the lack of heroes slow him down. Kaz Kaiser's Farsia has been repurchased and is maybe going to revive. There we go. He's reviving. Level 2 Wraith Lord still giving chase. Doesn't want to let these attacks get shots in, but they are getting shots in. So the council chasing the uh, Terminators, so they can't help with the. Wraith Lord right now. Wraith Lord turns and maybe gets away actually. So your council is still chasing and a shotgun blast goes through. They did kill a Terminator. 216 to 136. This is awesome aggression from the blue team. Down goes the Wraith Lord. I mean, it was inevitable. Lots of red for Soul Reaver now. In fact, they're maxed out at 999. Uncensored is in tier 3. Maybe waiting for a big fight to drop the Paladins in rather than rather than them being on the field already and having to run in. Triple Fire Prisms for Kaz Kaiser. Next purchase for Soul Reavers is, I think, very important here. Surely Uncensored is going to get Paladins in. Terry just down to double Guardsmen. Their next purchase also absolutely vital for the red team. Overtly just waiting for the cooldown for more Terminators, and here it is. It's a seven-minute cooldown. And here they are. Could follow that up with a Land Raider. Doesn't seem to get Land Raiders. They did in like the last year or so overtly. They did seem they did used to get Land Raiders up in their build. And they typically be very aggressive with them. Brother Captain gets shot down by Storm Bolters. Red team can take the Western VP now. But there's that warp spider. Needs to do a lot of this, I think, Soul Reaver. And needs to get something on the field, Soul Reaver. Saving for Avatar, maybe. If Kaz Kaiser get the triple fire prisms. I see two. Oh, there it is. Yep, triple fire prisms up. That can certainly threaten a land raider from long range. And do a bunch of disrupting, as you saw there. Meanwhile, overtly, Cyclone missiling something. 
I think just the general blobby wanted to cycle a missile there. Oh, the carries, oh, bloody hell, level 10. Massive heals coming out of this guy. They're looking to flank the fire prisms, I think, as well. Scout's looking for the VP over there. And there is a sail from the Inquisitor's Excruciators. She also has Inferno Pistol and Lab Heresia, so she is ready to roll in a late game. Speaking of late game, there's a time field. And an Eldritch Storm. A massively wasted Eldritch Storm there, I think from Kaz Kaiser. I think he was trying to set it up with the time field there, but that with a Land Raider in play, that's a big waste of a nuke of an Eldritch Storm, especially. Terminator Force Command has gone for the Heavy Flamer. Awesome. Cyclones do not hit the Fire Prisms. 185 to 103. Terry with a Bane Blade coming up. Librarian for overtly to support these double Terminators here. And Soul Reaver does have an Avatar. And Sensored Angel, though, did not get Paladins. They got a Crusader up. And that's surprising to me. Against all this heavy and super heavy infantry. Because this thing has a bunch of bolters on it, which aren't amazing against that stuff. But I mean, it is bloody Land Raider. Triumph has his own Terminators. Also got the Cyclone. And here's the Seer Council doing their thing. Double the Seer Council, in fact. One from each player, of course, because they're limited to one. For some reason, I don't know why Seer Council are limited to one. I've been told it's because they have that damage resistance aura and they don't want it to stack. Well, then just don't make it stack. I mean, does it stack now when you have two Seer Councils from different players? Does it stack? Fire Prisms are all still alive, miraculously. And there's the Avatar now getting hits. Terminator Force Commander's in retreat. West side is blue. And the Crusader's here now to look after it. Maybe that's why it was gotten. To sit on the west side and stabilize. It does have the Frag Assault to disrupt things. And censored. Brother Captain down. Two to one for blue. Come on, says Triumph. Bane Blade is up. Getting some good shots on the Land Raider Crusader. And maybe some Cyclones coming in here from overtly. Just threw combat stims on those Terminators, I think. And there it is. That's going to be huge amounts of damage. Holy crap. Demolisher Cannon chucked in there too. And now they can look for Power Fists. Don't know if this Land Raider is going to get away, you guys. We do have an Orbital. Oh, that's from Uncensored Angels. We are not getting Paladins here, guys. The Land Raider goes down. Decent hit on the VP there, with a bunch of guards when that ran into it. The attack's almost wet for Revertly, but they do get away. And we still have... Do we still have triple fire prisms, or did one of them die? I only see two at the moment. Down to 35 five VPs, the red team. They are cutting this close. Very close. They are taking the Western VP, or maybe not. Heavy Bolt is in play now. Baneblade getting repairs off that repair bunker. Avatar of Kane backs off. More Fire Prism for Kaz Kaiser. So they, they must have lost one then. But they're going to get back up to three. And it's an amazing job for these guys to even still be around. With a triple Cyclone Missile Launcher Terminators in play. Yeah, this Land Raid has been used very, very defensively so far. Looks like it's going to maybe push up a bit more now. We need to cap, says Uncensored Angel. But you kind of need some units, bud. Maybe they'll go for Grey Knight Terminators here, just for, just for a pile of hit points that can threaten enemy Terminators and stuff. Fire Prisms need repairs. Here's the repair crew. Not to be confused with Gretchen repair crew, of course. Walks for the Exarch, revives the Brother Captain, levels him to six. Brother Captain runs, he's level three. 150 to 35, a double cap for the red team. Can they hold on? The map is looking very red. Terminator Force Commander decapped over here. And some friendly knockback from the Fire Prism. It looks like he's going to be okay. 
Blue team can retake that. Triple fire prisms are repaired. We have a D cannon in here from Soul Reaver. What is Uncensored going to get here? Cyclones. Got a few hits. 112 to 35. Double cap for red. Took their time getting this VP back. The blue team. We do have potentially two Eldritches that can be used. In fact, there's one, I think. Eldritch Storm pushes the Guardsman forward. Does hit the Bane Blade, but is there anything to follow it up? Avatar going after that infantry. Triple Fire Prisms coming in, maybe trying to finish off the Bane Blade. They're getting some shots. Avatar keeping the Terminators away from the Fire Prisms at the moment. Brother Captain's on the VP. 77.35. The Land Raider's still guarding that natural VP there. Whoops, but Exarch is down anyway, so we can't go after it. Can the Brother Captain finish the cap? I don't think so, buddy. He needs to run. He does run, although he does have a Holy Armor of Titan up. Some brave stormtroopers pick up the cap now. Avatar trying to create some space. Oh, there's a rocket run that wipes out the stormtroopers. Last cannon gets away somehow from the Wailing Doom. Wasn't knocked over because of the shield. Avatar makes it out. And now it's operatives trying to cap. These guys are not fast capping, right? Or are they? I don't think they are. Eldritch. Gets the Bane Blade shut down. That's more Terminators for overtly. Triple Terminators now. Avatar's really low. Fire Prism still in play though, doing some good damage. Veil of Time used to get those guys out of there. Still dropped a model though. 60-35. Operatives trying to get it done. But they're so low. Paladins. Paladins are here, you guys. Uncensored brings in the Paladins. Big threat to those Terminators. They got the Bane Blade too. They did get the Bane Blade. How did they get it? Oh, maybe a D cannon shot from back there. That's nuts. That D cannon range, though. Was it because of Guide? Were they buffed by Guide? No, they weren't. Because the far Farsi is all the way back here. 52, 35, 1 to 1 cap. There's four Terminators on the red team. Terry only has triple Guardsman, though, now. Gets a Lehman Russ up. There's triple Fire Prisms, yep. Double Seer Council and Avatar and now Paladins. And Inquisitors down. Blue team have all of their heroes in play. This could be vital here. Level 4, Brother Captain. Strike Squad just running up to get stuff away from the VP. It's working. Are they rotating mid? Are they all rotating mid for a big push? The red team? Might be. This Land Red Redeemer has been so, so defensive. I mean, maybe it's maybe it saved them from some natural decaps. Speaking of natural decaps... Tactical Marines get a decap here. Seer so Council will make them pay. And they do. Now they're back on it. That dragged a bunch of stuff over there. But Red Team is still pushed back on this western side. Well played uncensored. With some aggressive pushes. 52 to 17. What is this? Oh, that's Sneaky Scouts from Overtly, is it? Yeah. They gotta guard that VP now, the blue team a bit more. They have a two to one. Surely this land raider needs to move. Down to nine VPs. Terminator Force Runner teleports in for a decap. There's holy grounds. And blue team just run out of time. Oh they got the one, they got the single. The single VP and a one-to-one -one cap. I thought that was done for. Surely it's time for that land raider to move. It's not moving. Paladin's making a huge difference here. Those inspirations on kill. And the fire prisms have been superb from Kaz Kaiser. They get the victory with a 2-1 to one at the end. Well, well played. The fire prisms were amazing. Level 3 on this one, level 2 on this one. This one was new, almost level 2. A level 5 brother captain for Uncensored Angel. Paladin is coming in clutch at the end. Level 6 Warp Spider Exarch. 
Double D cannons helping out on the western side for sure. Level 7 Farsi with those awesome fire prisoners. Really well played, Kaz Kaiser. Level 10 Apothecary for Overtly with his Terminator army. Uh, that Terminator Force Commander down at the end. And a level 5 Inquisitor down at the end. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. An awesome and close game. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.